Not a single thing to do. She went pick, pick, picking all around. When she spied it on the ground, she took it, she took it, my little yellow basket. And if she doesn't bring it back, I think that I would die. And welcome back. Uh, where are you? Saw that clip there of uh, these three ladies doing their tribute to the Andrews sisters, and it looked like they were on the USS Midway down there in, in San Diego. I'd like to welcome you three, Christy Knoll and uh, Jamie Palmer and Heather Richardson. So uh, welcome. And uh, what a perfect location for you to do your show, right? Absolutely. We do a lot of shows <clears throat> on the Midway. Yeah, that's a, if you haven't been down there, that's a great tour down there to see that. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourselves individually. I'll start with you, Christy, just your musical background and uh, what led you to do this. Sure. I grew up um, in the studio singing um, as a child, doing a lot of recordings for different people. Oh, really? Yeah. I did a lot of recordings, so I kind of grew up in a musical family. Mm -hmm. Pete Jacobs is my father, who is the band director yes. also. He's somewhere there. There he is. He's hiding in the room. Um, so I grew up just in a musical family doing a lot of different music. So it was fun to be able to join a band where I had family in it as well. That's great. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Jamie? I also grew up in a musical family, and my connection to this band is that my mother was an accompanist mm -hmm. for a choir that Christy directed. And so for the last year and a half, she's kind of taken me under her wing, and I've joined the band here. So it's a natural uh, transition for you both. Yes. And uh, what about you, Heather? <laughs> I did not grow up in a musical family. <laughs> I am the only one out of my family that can sing, but um, I just loved singing, and I, I grew up singing in church and stuff, and then I, I met them through my church, Saddleback Church, and uh, yeah, I just went and tried out for Pete one day, and he needed a singer, and here I am. <laughs> Very good. A so uh, what is it about singing uh, this type of music from that era uh, that, that you really like? I think one of the most special things about singing is when we do a certain song and somebody's standing out there and it brings back or sparks a memory of something special that happened mm -hmm. in their life or a prominent time in their life and um, they just light up, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, rem just remembering a, a special time in their life. Yeah, and they approach us and tell us that memory. It's, it's really neat. Yeah. It's a cool thing. It's a timeless era, you know. Yes, yeah, so it nostalgic. is. Nostalgic, and my grandmother used to play it all the time. And I remember playing in the living room and hearing her pumping the music through the house, and it just so it brings back a real warm, familiar uh, feeling to me. So, so that's why I love it. how does that? Uh, you know, you're all fairly young, so you grew up. I would say, what the music of uh, well, you look like you grew up in the <laughs> the music of the 2000s. But uh, maybe you of the 80s and the 90s or something mm -hmm. like that, if I kind of got that right. Yeah. <laughs> so um, do, you, uh, do you appreciate this music more? Do you see, obviously there's a big, there's a big difference. It was, but do, do you kind of appreciate the lyrics more, the way the flow of the, uh, the rhythm and the, the music goes? I would say that <clears throat> even like in today's music where you're hearing a lot of DJ music and, and things that are a little bit more electronic, yeah. it's nice to hear something that's arranged with a horn section, right? Mm -hmm. you know, where you can hear all these different parts that are so perfectly put together to make an orchestra, you know, and we're lucky enough to be able to sing in front of that. Yeah, yeah you bring up a very good point. You don't, uh, you don't see that much in today's music anymore. and. Uh, you know, there are a few bands that used to be that way back in the 70s and 80s that uh, used a big horn section, but, you know, they don't anymore. It's, it, most of it's electronic. Jamie, what, uh, what are some of your favorite songs that you uh, do? And by the way, I'll hold up your, uh, <laughs> your CDs here in just a moment, but what are some of the favorite songs that you like? Um, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy is the song that everyone seems to know, and we usually start out a set with that song, and people go crazy. So. That's definitely on the top of the list. Yeah, and that was made popular again by Bette Midler all those years True. ago yeah. when she yeah. did that. And uh, Heather, as far as the, the whole ambiance of this, you dress like the Andrews sisters mm -hmm. and, and in that era. When you put these on, the uniforms on, does it help you get into that mode and, uh, and appreciate that time back then? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the way they dressed back then was so much more elegant than we true. dress now. I mean, we go to the store in our <clears throat> pajamas and slippers. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't do that back then. Yeah. So, right. 
But yeah, just the way they danced to this, to this style of music is completely different. The way they dressed, it's just, I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. And so yeah, it helps us get into character. Now during this uh, review here, this wartime radio review, uh, you're on stage most of it, or are there other acts that come in too? Um, we're on and off. Okay. We, the, we do instrumentals and then solos and then the trio, the three girls. So is this uh, uh, kind of a takeoff of the old USO? tours type it shows, is. kind of a variety show? It is, and sometimes we even, and I think that they've performed here too, Matt Mauser comes with the same band, mm -hmm. and we'll do the Frank Sinatra tribute as right. well. Right, yeah, we've so had him on. We can go, you know, multiple ways with that too, with the Andrew sisters and Frank Sinatra in, in different ways. Of course, back then, how well, let's see, the Frank was pretty young back then, wasn't he, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, Matt <laughs> looks, Matt fits the part, he he's, does a great job, if yeah, you haven't yes. heard him. He's been on the show before doing Frank Sinatra, and uh, he does a really good job. Uh, when you um, when you recorded these, uh, tell me about that experience. Did you do these in um, a studio somewhere, or was it were some of the performances on your CDs live? They, those are not live. Okay. And, um, we did we we did do those in a studio and. The funny thing is, is the last CD we did, which is the, the one on the top right, right there, we actually did that probably in about four different studios. Oh, did you really? Mm. Yeah, but you're used to that. You grew up in True. that, right? True. <laughs> and uh, the show lasts, what, a couple hours? Um, usually it's about, you know, an hour and a half. Okay. And um, when you, uh, there, there's your dad again. <laughs> yeah, He's all is. dressed up too. Uh, when the show begins, uh, are you um, on there first? You kind of do what the Andrew sisters did, you know, the way they would open a show and sort of talk to the audience as if they're uh, in the service or something like that? You know, that kind of, well, in other words, you keep in character the whole time. We do keep in character, but we usually walk out and start off with the Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, okay. which is one of the big songs and that everybody wants to hear, and they get, the crowd usually gets pretty excited about that. Yeah, I bet mm -hmm. they do. Uh, it's a great show. I know um, it's been here in the past, and it's gotten uh, just a tremendous response. It's coming up on Sunday, July 27th at 7 o'clock at Clubhouse 3. It's uh, a, a big show uh, for sure. You can see a full uh, band and on, the, on the back there. And what are some of the other numbers that are done besides uh, the Andrew Sisters stuff? Do you do like Benny Goodman type music and uh, the other music of that era? We do. We do a lot of different music. We, we do do some Benny Goodman um, mm -hmm. songs as well. Um, we do a couple Latin pieces. I'm just thinking through what else we might do. Well, we bring some of the guys up to sing with us too. We have a couple ensemble, like Chattanooga Choo Choo. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Yeah, taking a chance on love. Well, I'm looking at all the, uh, I, I would, uh, looking at the uh, CD here, and uh, there's certainly a great variety of music, and it's, uh, it should be a lot of fun. And I know the other times that uh, your dad standing right over there again has brought shows here. They're always well received, a lot of fun, and uh, we really appreciate you uh, coming on. It's and a to be here. Uh, yeah. again, you can get tickets at Clubhouse Three. It's July 27th, so you got a couple weeks, and from seven o'clock uh, to nine, and you'll have a great time. And uh, music, uh, obviously, of the Andrew Sisters, but of Glenn Miller, Count Basie, Tommy Dorsey, Artie Shaw, Benny Goodman, and many others. It'll be a great uh, show and uh, appreciate you coming on. Thanks. Thank you. All right. We'll be back in just a moment. Very good.